Hello. Back down the gym again. Guess who's with me? Go on, have a guess. Yeah, see it all. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> now then, shoulders, all right? Hugely important when it comes to boxing, self-defense, everything, shoulders. A Couple of things for you to take into consideration. If you get in a boxing stance, please, bro. So, we're here. Let's say for argument's sake, he's got just the right reach on me to land a jab. I've got just the right reach on Theodore to land a jab. So you can move back just a little bit, please. Okay. So now we're in a situation where he can't quite reach me and I can't quite reach him. But with a rotation, and I can't, definitely can't reach with the backhand, but with a rotation of the shoulders, without moving my head forward, with a rotation of the shoulders, I can reach. So these shoulders make all the difference. When people are throwing um, their backhand, you see them many, many times people throwing here. And it's short because of the lack of shoulder rotation. Nothing wrong with it because if you're in the right distance, you can land anyway, can't you? But these are little extras for you to try out and put into different types of sparring and fights. So when you're here, and I'm here and I can't reach with this hand, he's probably feeling a little bit safe that I can't reach. But when I rotate and punch, I can reach. So the same sort of thing you can do with these shoulders for defense, where you're moving for defense, they can become your offense as well. So another aspect of it is that if uh, we get to distance again, please. So we're at roughly the right distance to just hit each other. If I rotate my shoulders as I lean and he throws his jab and I rotate, his jab's not reaching, but my backhand can. So I can bring him on, which leads on to something else which people call counter-punching, which I'll tell you about another time. But this, this use of the shoulders to, to lean away and rotate enables you to land backhands when they can't land jabs. And with other angles and things like that, you can really mix it up and start to make things work for you. So have a play with the shoulders. Thank you. Have a play with the shoulders and see how you get on. It's fun. I say, I can't physically be there with you. I can only show you stuff. Hopefully you'll train it, drill it, learn it, absorb it, and have a lot of fun with it. See you later.